Kingdom Day 5 on 3501 on my new beginners restart. And we've just had the Sanctums, which is great news. Uh, sorry about the background noise in my last video. I'm trying to uh, stop that happening. I don't have the charger in and I've taken my phone case off in case they are making noise up against the speakers. But let's see what happens. Oh, and now my phone's dropping. There we are, back in. So, what's the scores on the doors for the Sanctums? Let's have a look. We have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, which isn't bad for a low power account. Um, lucky enough to find a, uh, a small alliance where they built the flags really well, which is exactly what I want as a sleeper. I don't want to be in those top alliances. And of course, a small alliance, they are thirsty for people that are super active, which is, of course, something I can offer. So they're happy. I'm happy. And they get a real boost through high activity. So, what's been going on on the account? Well, I've got my scout camp to 14, which means I've stopped being lazy with the fog. And I've pushed that up to 24%. So there's the big news and where I'm going to start to use my time now. Uh, up until having three marches and the, the level 14 scout camp, I've been very lazy with scouting. But... If you're not rushing power, then wait, you've got a higher scout camp level. Uh, we've got City Hall 15 is cooking, one day and 22 hours left. But I'm really low, even though we've just taken the Sanctums, I'm really low on speed ups. It's not good at all. Except for, of course, research speed ups where I'm waiting for our 5% altar or higher VIP. Uh, my troops... Nothing exciting happening. I've decided to get El Cid to level 10 because I use him in the expedition to take down single kills like Martel, who I'm stuck on now. All the rest of the power is going into the, the Sunset Canyon team, which should be starting very soon. But I won't really be able to make content out of that yet because I'm going to be having probably a pretty bad time with only three marches. But then having three marches can be brilliant if you get... People with four marches think they can beat you, and then they boost you. So it can work in your favour if your three marches are strong. I don't know where I'm going there. Sorry, I think I went into the into the notice board. Now, on this account, we're also going to have a quick look at the 500k power, which is where you want to be on five day if you're playing casual. Commander power not moving much because, of course... Uh, I'm not spreading power, nor am I having any luck on gold keys. Troop power is moving because I'm spending the speed ups, my training speed ups to get that moving. Technology power is not moving. As I've said, I'm waiting for the altar. Pushing forward that building power for the blacksmiths is where all the work is at the moment. Only 102k troops. Um, <coughs> I've not upgraded any tier 1 to tier 2. I leave my tier 1 as they are and I just start making tier 2. Uh, and even if I unlock tier 3, I'll only make those at night until I've got a significant size army because that's how I choose to play Expedition. I'd rather have in a large army carrying commanders into battle as opposed to high tier troops. Um, for fun, I thought we would just have a quick look at the technology in this alliance where, of course, they're developing flags, which means their rise together is only 2 out of 5 and their construction is, of course, 0. If we switch over to my support alliance, uh, let's go into my lead farm. Where is he? So my lead farm, remember though, is not really a farm. It is a Boudicca barbarian killing machine, but he's not been brought into action yet. So I think I've got bar, I've got Boudicca up to level 31 or level 30. So she's already quite significant barbarian killer. Let's go here. So there's Boudicca. She's yep, level 31, 531, which is pretty good. Low heart of support. So she'll be able to help me solo some forts soon. Uh, but if we look here in technology, um, this is probably the most developed development technology or the most you boost you can get on this map at the moment is from our support alliance. So that's going to be, together we rise is about to finish, and then we're going to have another level of construction soon. 
so this will be a good place for doing buildings before the 5% altar building is available. Um, and my farms are doing well. <coughs> of course, they're also doing well in terms of Alliance coin. Remember, they've got to get to 600k as well if they're going to come with me. We've got passports coming out of our ears. And we've got slow fill build flags going crazy non-stop let's just grab a few of those i want to keep a million coin if i can maybe we need to take down this uh ch and put it up this uh, center fortress and pop it up somewhere else who knows what's going to happen uh, let's knit back to my main now so expedition expedition it's stuck on martel <coughs> sorry i'm losing my voice um just whilst this is loading, I've got to 6,000 subscribers and I just made a little thank you video. So go over and say um, say hello. Um, I put some of my stats up there, how many views I've got and how many hours, watch time. So go and say hello over there. I'm really happy to get to 6,000 subscribers. Absolutely brilliant. What else are we looking at? We've done that. We've done that. Okay, the courier station today... So somebody asked, where am I getting all my speed-ups from? Um, if I'm low on speed-ups, I start to refresh the courier station by 100 gems. So today, I did it by 100 gems, and I got three... Um, I got five hours and 1,000 XP for my 100 gems, which was pretty good. It's not always this good. But sometimes, though, I think the most I've ever had, I think I've had 10 hours out of 100 gem refresh. So... It can be worth it, but it really, you shouldn't spend your gems in this way. Especially if I'm not rushing power. But I just had to get something finished. Because remember, whilst my academy is building, I'm not researching. So any speed-ups I use on it are worth double. Because I would then be getting my research capacity back. So keep that in mind. Right, let's have a little look. What else is going on in the bag? So, lots of low hard, but I'm not going to be running those. Only three gold heads. I've got four epic heads to use, which is good. Um, nothing going on in equipment yet. Nothing going on in boosts. We've talked about research. Um, I've got a little bit of resources at the moment, but not a lot. But remember, I've got a lot of farm support, so I'm not stressing about that. VIP 6 uh, has only just hit, so I'm pretty far from VIP 7. But I'm really looking forward to that training speed 10%. I'm looking forward to the daily epic head as well. Although at the moment the blues are going into my archer woman. But um, you'll fill her up no problem from silver keys. Uh, let's have a look at Joan. Yep, miles away. Terrible luck on the, the spread of skills there. So I think that's everything today. That's the update. Uh, I hope this is helping somebody build their restart account uh, at a casual pace of course if you're one of the hidden lotuses pushers perhaps you should be looking at nearing a, a well a million power by now or you're probably a bit behind the curve thanks for watching that's all for today